I'd like to call to order the Tuesday, March 21st, 2023, meeting of the Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors to order. Are we certified in compliance with the open meeting law? We are. The agenda was posted on March 17th at 4 p.m. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. To the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and with liberty and justice for all. Next is roll call. Supervisor Jorgensen, you're present? Yes, I'm present. Thank you. Anyone else via Zoom? There are 21 supervisors present. Okay, next is the consideration of a memorial resolution, resolution number 32. Resolution 32 regarding honoring the life of former County Board Supervisor James P. Glavin. Whereas former County Supervisor James P. Glavin passed away on February 5th, 2023, and whereas Mr. Glavin served as County Board Supervisor for 18 years from 2002 to 2020, having served on the Agricultural, Agriculture and Land Conservation Committee from 2002 to 2008, chairing from 2004 to 2006, and vice chairing from 2006 to 2008 on the Property Committee from 2004 to 2018, Chairing that committee 2006 to 2010, and again from 2014 to 2018, acting as vice chair from 2010 to 2014, and on the transportation committee from 2014 to 2020, vice chairing from 2017 to 2020, and the health care center committee from 2018 to 2020, and whereas Mr. Glavin also served his community as an educator at Sheboygan North High School, Farnsworth Middle School, and Lakeshore Technical Institute, and as the owner and operator of multiple Sheboygan County businesses, and whereas Mr. Glavin will be remembered for his commitment to making Sheboygan County a thriving community, now, there, now therefore be it resolved that by passage of this resolution, the County Board herewith makes public its recognition of Mr. Glavin's dedicated service to the citizens of the county and expresses its heartfelt sympathy to his family and friends, and especially his wife, Denise, and his four children, Kathleen, James, Jeffrey, and Susan. Be it further resolved that the clerk be directed to forward a copy of this resolution to Denise Glavin, Kathleen Glavin, James Glavin, Jeffrey Glavin, and Susan Tooney. Respectfully submitted this 24, 21st day of March, 2023. Pursuant to County Board Rule 2.13, this resolution will be on the floor for immediate action. Please join me in a standing vote to honor Supervisor James Glavin. Thank you. Would the family please step forward? Next is the approval of the February 21, 2023 journal. Supervisor Brower. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll make a motion to approve. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Supervisor Wagner. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Under discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote. Aye. Motion is approved unanimously. Next is presentations. We have none. Public addresses. There are none. Letters, communications, and announcements. We have three resolutions. The first is from Clark County Board of Supervisors opposing the state's current wind energy regulations. We will submit the Planning, Resources, Agriculture, and Extension Committee. Next is a resolution from Columbia County Board of Supervisors requesting revisions to the state's solar energy system law. We will send that to Planning, Resources, Agriculture, and Extension Committee. And finally, a resolution from Green Lake County Board of Supervisors requesting the state to use a portion of the 2023 budgetary surplus for maintenance, repair, and replacement of county trunk highway system. We will send that to the Transportation Committee. That is all I have. Next is the county administrator's report. Good evening, everyone. Obviously, the last person that was up here was much taller than I was. Um, happy to report a few things for the board this evening. Um, first, I wanted to mention the department annual reports. This is something that our department heads go through every single year, uh, an exercise in recapping the year prior and also forecasting the year ahead. And these reports are between two and four pages in length and I find them very enjoyable to read. It's always refreshing to see the goals that were achieved the previous year, the budget performance, and then what is on the horizon for the upcoming year and any challenges that departments may be experiencing. Those are all due annually in February and they have all been submitted and finalized. They're just getting their Final stamp of approval from the finance department to make sure all of the budget dollars are accurate now that we've closed the books. So those will all be placed on the department web pages in the next couple of weeks and I encourage you all to take the opportunity to read them. I find them very educational um, and it's interesting to look back on the year in, um, in review. I think sometimes we get so caught up in the moment we forget about things that have happened in the past. So I wanted to just take a moment to encourage you all to watch for the annual reports and read them at your leisure. Next, I wanted to touch on resolution number 28, which is on your agenda this evening, and that is regarding the right of first refusal for Road America. There were uh, proposed changes coming from Road America to the purchase agreement after we introduced this document, and because of that, the Resolution was referred back to Transportation Committee who initially introduced it for their second review just to make sure that they were comfortable with those changes. So I just wanted to point out that procedurally it's a little bit different than normal. It did go back to the committee that introduced it for a second time uh, because of the changes to the agreement. However, I wanted to note that the resolution itself has not changed. So you'll see that in your agenda packet for this evening. Uh, moving on to Resolution 31, this is regarding the donation from Ducks Unlimited. We're very grateful for this opportunity. Ducks Unlimited approached us and they are willing to give us $27,000 to purchase a parcel that is adjacent to the Sheboygan Marsh. The parcel is about 13 acres and it is all mapped wetlands. And so they will be providing the funding to purchase that property uh, or providing the funding to us to purchase the property, and then that will be a part of the marsh. So we're expanding our footprint there and grateful for that opportunity to partner with Ducks Unlimited in this, in this fashion, which we have done in the past. Uh, next, I wanted to touch on ordinance number five. And this is amending the pay scale for the dispatchers in the sheriff's department. And this ordinance is modifying chapter 47 and placing those dispatchers in their own DBM. This is something that we've done in the past for other uh, areas that are hard to recruit and retain employees, specifically in the Sheriff's Department and Rocky Knoll. Because of the difficulty in recruiting employees, we've raised their wages as one component to help with the recruitment. And that, unfortunately, is pushing some of those employees out of their assigned DBMs. And so in the past, we've assigned 
separate DBMs towards those work groups. And this is what we're doing again for the dispatchers. So no change to their current pay, it's just changing the pay range that they're located in. And then finally, resolution 30 regarding the opioid funding. You'll see that this resolution is being presented uh, with amendments. And I wanted to just point out that conceptually, the content of the resolution hasn't changed. And these amendments are just to reflect the template that we received from the Wisconsin Counties Association. Unfortunately, when Corporation Council drafted this, we did not have the template from the WCA at that time, so we expected these changes to be coming. However, we needed to get this legislation moving in order to meet the deadline of approval before the April, the April board meeting. So the content hasn't changed, but you'll see some of the um, names of the distributors and pharmacies have changed, but substantially it is the same document that was introduced. And just a quick update on those opioids funds. At this point, it's unclear on how much we'll receive from the second round because it's all determined on how many other municipalities opt into this agreement. So once that April deadline comes and we know how many other municipalities have opted in, they will then distribute the funds accordingly. So more to come on that, um, but we are expecting slightly less than what we received in the first settlement. And to refresh your memory, that was $3.1 million. Similar to that first settlement that we've already approved, these payouts in the second settlement will also be spread out over a number of years. Depending on where the funding has come from, it's anywhere between six and 15 years. So similar to what we've seen the first go around, um, but just wanted to point out that the resolution is amended. However, substantially the content is the same. And that is all I have for my report this evening. Consideration of committee reports, executive committee, resolution number 28. Regarding authorizing Elkhart Lakes Road America, right of first refusal and option to purchase, recommendation to adopt. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll move for passage of resolution number 28. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Gary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Gary. Under discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. I vote aye. I also note that Supervisor Gruber is now online. Supervisor Gruber, can you chime in that you're present? I see you. Shows that you're muted. It shows you're unmuted, but we can't hear you. He, recommends. he could vote with hand signals, either thumbs up or thumbs down. Supervisor Gruber, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thank you. He votes yes. All right, that's approved unanimously. Next is resolution number 31. Regarding accepting donation from Ducks Unlimited and authorizing purchase of property to be added to the Schwein County Road and Marsh, recommendation to adopt. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Clark. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll second. Thank you, Supervisor Clark. 
Under discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen, how do you vote? Aye. Thank you. Supervisor Gruber, thumbs up, thumbs down. Supervisor Gruber, Gruber, how do you vote? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Can you put it in front of your face? <clears throat> Can you get the sign in button? No, oh, do you have a sign in button? Tap. Yep, tap that. Supervisor Gruber, thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, thank you. <laughs> we saw it. All right, you have everyone. That's passed unanimously. Okay, ordinance number five. Regarding amending pay scale for Sheriff's Department dispatchers, recommendation to enact. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move for adoption. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Brower. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Under discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Aye. All right, thank you. Supervisor Gruber votes yes. <laughs> Got everybody? All right. That also is approved unanimously. Next is consideration of committee reports, finance committee, resolution number 30. Regarding authorizing Sheboygan County to enter into the settlement agreements with CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, Cuba, Allegheny, Terms of the memorandum of understanding allocating settlement proceeds and authorized entry into the memorandum of understanding in general and wish to adopt as amended. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll move for passage to resolution number 30. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Brower. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will second the motion. Thank you, Supervisor Brower. Under discussion. Seeing no discussion, please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Votes aye. Supervisor Gruber. Thank you. Supervisor Gruber votes yes. All right. That as resolution 30 is approved unanimously. And with that, I will hand the gavel over to the vice chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Tonight, resolutions being introduced. Resolution number 33 from the Finance Committee. Regarding authorizing the Finance Committee and Interim Finance Director to balance over budget departmental accounts. That or resolution will be referred to the Executive Committee. Uh, resolution number 34 from Planning and Resources Ag and Extension. Regarding amending the Sheboygan County Comprehensive Outdoor Recreation and Open Space Plan. That resolution will also be referred to exec. Tonight there are no new ordinances being introduced. With business being concluded, Supervisor Distruti. And is there a second? Supervisor Rimmel. Vice Chair, I'll second that motion. Please vote. Supervisor Jorgensen. Aye. Supervisor Gruber. Thumbs up. All right. Thank you. Keep shutting up. Now we are adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone.
Thank you.